Somebody else did the work, went through the pain, paid all the bills, and you and I got free gift, physical life. Getting born really only takes a few minutes. Now, growing takes a long time. And getting born into God's family only takes a few minutes. Growing in God's family takes a long time and requires a lot of effort, like reading your Bible, going to church, praying, doing those things. They help you grow to be a good Christian, but they don't make you a Christian. You only become a Christian if somebody else does the work for you. If Jesus Christ comes and lives in your heart and makes you a new person. February 9th, 1969, my friend said, Kent, you're a sinner. I said, yeah, I know that. He said, according to the Bible, you deserve to die and go to hell. I said, yes, sir, I know that too. He said, but God wants to give you a gift, eternal life. You deserve eternal death. God wants to give you eternal life. I said, well, how do I get it? He said, watch this, Romans chapter 10 and verse number 13 tells us, for, the way, for whosoever, whosoever means anybody, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. It doesn't say you might be saved. It says you shall be saved. Anybody that receives Jesus Christ, they call on him. They ask him to forgive them. The Bible says in John chapter 1 that if you receive him, you become a child of God. You become a son of God. In John chapter 3, it says you must be born again. These things all tie together. When you receive Christ as your Savior, some people use the expression, you receive him into your heart. When you receive Jesus Christ, when you accept what he has done for you, you become a child of God. You receive the new birth. It just takes a few minutes to say, Jesus, I'm a sinner. Would you please forgive me and save me? And so February 9th, 1969, I bowed my head and I said, Lord, I'm a sinner. I know you died for me on the cross. And I'd like you to forgive me. I'd like you to come live in my heart and save me and forgive me. Make a new person out of me, would you please, Lord? I just received Christ as my Savior. And so that day became my spiritual birthday into God's family. I'm now a child of God. have been for quite a while. And if I do something wrong, I cannot go to hell because I've received the gift of eternal life, and eternal life lasts forever. But as God's child, I can receive his punishment. See, I'm in God's family now, and it's treated very different, a family matter, if I do some sin. Whereas before, I would have been, uh, God would have been my judge. It was a legal matter uh, if I had sinned. But now my sins are paid for. So when I tell people I'm going to heaven, it's not because I'm so good. It's because my sins are forgiven. You can have the same thing. If you'll accept Jesus Christ as your Savior right now, he'll forgive your sin and save you and take you to heaven. In this session, we talk about creation and evolution and dinosaurs and carbon dating and all those things that are interesting. But it's not going to matter if you go to hell. Please, check your heart. If you've not trusted Christ as your Savior, why don't you ask Him to save you right now? Just bow your head and pray a simple prayer like I prayed in 1969. You can, now there's no magic words. God knows what's in your heart. But if you'd like to receive Christ, why don't you pray something like this along with me? Just pray and say, Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. I believe you died for me on the cross, and I'd like to ask you to forgive me. I now receive you as my Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, folks, uh, Romans 10, 13 says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you just receive Christ, you've got God's promise. You're going to heaven, and God's promises last forever. So if you've just done that, why don't you call or write or email me and let me know. My name and address will come up on the screen, and you can get a hold of me and let me know. You just received Christ as your Savior, and we can rejoice with you. Once you receive Christ, now that makes you born into God's family. That's just the beginning. Growing requires a lot of work. You're going to need to read your Bible, go to a good Bible-believing church, start telling others about Jesus, and there's all sorts of things. And I'll be glad to be a help if I can be. Thank you so much. We hope you enjoy this video series. What you're about to hear is an audio tape made of apparently the roaring of the creature in the Congo swamp the natives call Mokele Mbembe. Uh, which would be one of the few living dinosaurs. The sound appears to have a flapping or slapping sound near the end of each roar. Some have speculated that this may be similar to the gecko lizard that uh, makes a little roaring sound, and then the flap of skin under its throat slaps back against the throat, making the slapping sound. That's the best uh, so far we have on this. If you hear any more, please let me know. I hope you enjoy it.